welcome to my channel it's good to have you here again beautiful people today we have 10 stories about people who divorce their spouses for reason you might call crazy or hilarious but you see there are things that appeal to you that others may find ridiculous there are things that you might find laughable but others think they are very serious they are experiences of everyday people like you and i these divorce stories are typical examples of what happened every day in court. Without further ado, let's dive into the stories. Number one, this Emirati woman sought to divorce her husband just after one year of marriage because he was too nice. He was so caring and was fully devoted to her. She found his excessive love suffocating and it made her life a living hell. He never fought with her, not even once. He never yelled at her or turned her down and she said she was choked by extreme love and affection. He even helped her clean the house and sometimes cook the meals. She longed for one day of dispute but that day would never happen with her romantic husband who always forgave her and showered her with gifts. She needed a real conversation, even an argument, not the hassle-free life of obedience from her husband. But the husband said he'd done nothing wrong other than loving his wife. He only wished to be a perfect and kind husband to his wife. He pleaded with the court to advise his wife to withdraw the case from the court. It's not fair to judge a marriage from the first year and everybody learns from their mistakes, he said. Finally, the judge advised them to find a way to reconcile. Wow, just wow. Lots of women will give anything to be with this perfect man. This should have been a peaceful home with quietness and a wife fully secured in her husband's embrace and love. But this wife wants a life of drama, a house of commotion. She wants strife and contention. Why would anyone in their right mind treat a peaceful, loving, respectful, generous and helpful husband? for an argumentative, stingy, disrespectful and abusive husband. Maybe she was used to being in an abusive relationship and this guy being nice is unusual and foreign to her. Like we say, everything needs to be done in moderation. Well, it's different strokes for different people. I hope it becomes the kind of man she desires. Number two, our second story is from Nigeria. A Nigerian man divorced his wife of 19 years. They had three children together and lived peacefully until she posted a video of herself online. This was actually a dancing for husband's challenge which gained popularity among northern Nigerian wives. Over the Eid Mubarak holiday, Arawa women engaged in the challenge which involves dancing for their husbands provocatively and sharing the video on social media with the hashtag dancing for husband's challenge she shared her own video and the husband was enraged by it because she made their video public although the challenge provided beautiful content that was enjoyed by social media users a number of muslim men condemned it they said only a husband should see such video as it's immoral for the wife to share it with the world warning that arewa women should desist from imitating the ways of others you see Marriage is beautiful when spouses understand each other and know the boundaries to cross and the ones not to cross. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 says, Let the wise listen and gain instruction, and the discerning acquire wise counsel. One would think that after 19 years of living together, she would understand her spouse well. People have different layers to them. Unless something has happened before, you probably don't know what your spouse's reaction will be. So tread carefully and respectfully. Number three, this divorce case happened in China. This woman divorced her husband because of their sick son. Their 22-year-old son was critically ill and needed treatment for his rare blood disease. The parents couldn't raise the 144,000 US dollars required for his operation. The mother even worked two jobs and earned just 1,400 US dollars. His monthly medical treatment was 1,100 US dollars. So her salary was just a drop in the ocean. She asked her husband to sell their house, but he refused. 
His reason was that their son would eventually die regardless of what they do. She was angry and asked for a divorce. You see, the love of a mother is deeper than the ocean and wider than the sea. It's difficult for men to understand, especially if you have an only child. You know, China has a one-child policy before now. That is probably her only child. She would rather sell her house and save her child and be homeless. If she didn't and he lost his life, she would blame his death on herself for the rest of her life. That's what mothers do. Number four, let's go to Botswana. This is the most bizarre story I found. It's a story of a 64-year-old Botswana man who asked a court to dissolve his marriage of 32 years on the ground that his wife was humble, loving, obedient, caring, and had never done anything wrong in their 32 years of marriage. They married under customary law when Johnson was 32 and the wife was 26. The marriage was blessed with three daughters. He said he would leave the house and return anytime he wanted and his wife never questioned him. Instead, she would welcome him back home, but he felt deep inside her. She was heartbroken, but she never complained. He didn't love his 58-year-old wife anymore and wanted a divorce. The woman was surprised when she received an order to appear in court. Well, she agreed to divorce her husband and agreed on how to share the properties without any argument because she didn't want to force him to stay with her. She told the court, love can't be forced. Number five, this happened in Saudi Arabia. This is the shortest divorce case I've ever heard about and I'm not young. This man divorced his wife just two hours into their marriage. The bride posted photos of their wedding ceremony online and the groom was enraged. This couple had a prenuptial agreement that they would not post their wedding pictures on social media. He found out she shared the pictures with her friends on Snapchat and that wasn't acceptable. He cancelled the marriage and filed for divorce instantly. The prenuptial contract was binding and she took it lightly. You see, her family was not happy as they felt he was too cruel, but his family supported his decision. Who are we to judge? We don't know why he included it in the prenup and why she agreed only to violate it. All she needed to do was show her husband she was trustworthy, loyal, committed to their vows and show he can entrust her with the secrets. Proverbs chapter 31 verse 11 says the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. Maybe this man knew she was addicted to social media and the prenup was to safeguard her against its negative effects, especially depression, lack of effective communication between them, and sleeplessness. Number six. This is another one from Nigeria, the giant of Africa. This gentleman divorced his wife for refusing to change her surname to his. He had asked his wife to effect the change of name on her document, but she refused. He asked her to get a court affidavit to change even her bank details and other documents that had her father's name. She refused to remove her father's name and replace it with a surname in all her documents. One of the reasons was that it will ruin her followers on social media, her identity, and other things. There were only Mr. and Mrs. He saw name on their marriage certificates, but in reality, nothing changed. She said she'd rather divorce him than change her surname. And so it was that after two years, he eventually decided to end their marriage. Why did they forget their wedding vows so easily? I take you to be my husband or wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better for worse for richer for poorer in sickness and in health to love and to cherish till death do us part according to god's holy law in the presence of god i make this vow in the presence of God, I make this vow. It is better not to make a vow before God than to make it and refuse to fulfill it. My people, let us be careful. Obviously, this marriage had commitment. She was in the marriage, but she wasn't there. 
she wasn't in it to stay. Compromise and negotiation in marriage are very essential to a healthy relationship. Every marriage, especially the ones contracted between two people with strong personalities, needs negotiation. Bargaining is a necessary antidote for a healthy marriage here. You make deals and listen to each other's candid opinions. You make compromises, find a common ground or meet halfway. Agree and life goes on. You have to do this all the time respectfully, sincerely and with many prayers. Prayer plays a significant role in marriage because you see, my friend, marriage is a spiritual relationship. This is one good reason why you should seek God's guidance before you choose who to marry. Marriage is had outside Jesus. Number seven, we are in Peru for this divorce story. A Peruvian man divorced his wife after seeing her running her fingers through another man's hair. This Peruvian man wanted to get the best way to a bridge in the capital city of Lima on Google Maps. While trying to navigate his way on the map, he saw a man and a woman on a bench near the bridge. The man lay on the bench and rested his head on his girlfriend's legs while she stroked his head and ran her fingers through the hair. The man thought the lady's clothes looked similar to his wife's. On a closer look, he found out it was actually his wife and another man caught in the Google camera. He confronted her with a Google image and she confirmed his suspicion. He filed for divorce on the ground of infidelity. Extramarital affairs is one of the leading causes of divorce in the world. Number eight, hey, Italy, here we are. This is the story of the oldest couple to ever divorce. A 99-year-old Italian man divorced his wife after 77 years of marriage. This man and his 96-year-old wife had five children, 12 grandchildren, and a grand-granddaughter together. He filed for a divorce after he found a letter of an affair she had 60 years ago in an old chest of drawers days before Christmas. His wife admitted to the affair and the man unfortunately felt betrayed and filed for divorce. <laughs> what in the world? This woman cheated when she was 36 years old and kept her lover's letter for 60 years. She must have loved him dearly. She probably read the letter to herself over and over again for her to keep it in a place that is easily accessible to her husband. This man went from disbelief to anger to fury and to divorce. Only God knows what he would have done if he found the letter 60 years ago. Number 9. Deception by Makeup a newly wedded 34-year-old man in the UAE divorced his 28-year-old wife after they went swimming and her makeup was washed away by the water. He couldn't recognize her when he saw her natural face for the first time without her makeup. I guess the only thing this man saw and fell in love with was her beauty and not her true self. While attraction plays a pivotal role in choosing a life partner and in marriage, it is essential for you to let your partner see your natural face early on in the relationship. If you wear enough makeup so that people don't recognize you without it, it's deception. With makeup, anyone can look like anyone and it is becoming increasingly difficult for women to go out with their natural faces because they are being judged every day and everywhere they go. But like the saying goes, less is more. Do things in moderation. Philippians chapter 4 verse 5 says, Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Do you know that some men have never seen their wife's natural face before? Every night before some women go to bed, they make up their faces and they wake up earlier than their husbands to reapply new makeup. It's a very unhealthy habit. The length women go for beauty and fashion is appalling. Number 10. We are in Baghdad, Iraq for the next strange story. A man divorced his wife at their wedding reception venue for her choice of song. The bride had asked for a song titled Mr. Tara to be played at the reception. It was a Syrian song. Mr. Tara means dominant in English. The wife danced to the song happily but her in-laws were not happy. His family was having none of it. They felt it was a direct warning of what he would likely suffer 
all endure in the marriage. This is the English translation of the song. Dominant, I will rule you like a ruler. I will make you look away if you see another girl on the street. Yes, I'm dominant. You are my piece of sugar. As long as you're with me, you will be under my command. I'm arrogant. I'm arrogant. There are things I warned you about. How will your eyes catch it? You can't stand my revolution. Jealousy runs in my blood. I'm still talking to you. When will you understand me? Since I met you, I've been telling you, if you look at other girls, I'll get angry at you. Dominant, I will rule you like a ruler. I will make you look away if you see another girl on the street. Yes, I'm dominant. You are all that matters to me. Nothing scares me. But you, my love, changed me. And you will be mine. I will stay in your heart. And if you do wrong, I will punish you. No one can look at you. No one can look at you. Wow. And there was a big misunderstanding and fight between the two families and the marriage ended in divorce that same day. A few other marriages have also ended in divorce because of this song. You see, my friend, in a relationship where the fear of God, patience, kindness, commitment, good character, joy, love, effective communication, attraction, friendship, loyalty, laughter and smile, negotiation, respect for family, respect for one another, love of God, prayers and the word of God are not at the foundation. It might be difficult for you to withstand the storms of life. While some reasons we talked about here are crazy, we don't know what the people felt their circumstances and their situations but one thing is clear that a marriage isn't to be trivialized it is deeper than you can ever imagine as we evolve daily in our marriage relationship new things begin to emerge whether because of old age sickness children's challenges families and in-laws whatever it is we must not forget our wedding vows the ones we made before God and man. Let us learn to love our spouses with the love of Christ and build it on the foundation of Christ. The Emirati man and the Motswana woman who love their spouses unconditionally are the perfect example of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 14 to 7. It says, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. So, finally, brethren, the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, Whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Whenever you think about your marriage, think about this verse. It will help you to treat your spouse and marriage better. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell, like, and leave your comment. Thank you for watching my video, beautiful people. Until next time, bye and God bless.